Because you ever envisaged that you'd be player of the series and two two series for uh, the one season? Did that ever cross your mind? Absolutely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, yeah, just loving contributing to the team. Like you look around, and it's a team full of superstars, and someone different stands up every time. So um, yeah, enjoying my career at the moment, and, and hopefully we got a big World Cup coming up. Talk us through that uh, ball today. They've been coming out all right. Not all of them are intentional. Um, that's sort of what the team always asked me when I bowled them. Was that one intentional? Today, I'll say it was. May or may not have been. But um, yeah, it, it's. It, I have been working on the Yorker a fair bit, um, and it's got me a bit of success this tour. So um, it's a good change up to have, and um, it's a hard ball to bowl. So hopefully, they keep coming out all right. How pleasing was it to finish off with the win tonight on you know, the last few Ashes series? Um, been able to win the series, but um, ended on a loss. So to um, finish off today must be really pleasing. Very pleasing. It's something we spoke about a lot. Um, not only um, once we retained the Ashes, it was about winning them outright, and then it was about not letting England in at all. So um, it was really important for us to finish off the job, and, and couldn't be happier to um, finish the series the way we did. So good momentum leading into the World Cup. No, I didn't have a chat to her. The, the second ODI, she told me to warm up three times before I came on in the, the 40th over. So I'm, I'm just always ready and, and never know when I'm going to get my chance. So, um, yeah, just whenever she gives me the nod, I'll be ready. But uh, we've got such a good bowling attack that, um, yeah, it, whenever I get my opportunity. But there's so many talented bowlers that we were all capable of bowling anywhere throughout the innings. Yeah, Belzy's had an unreal series, especially that test match. She was just incredible. Um, I don't know how she, she bowled that many overs and with that much um, intensity, but um, yeah, the way that Shooter and, and Pez start us off and then to to have Belzy and myself and even Nick and then when Dars comes, when she comes back in and our world quality uh, spinners, it's, it's a nice problem for Meg to have when you've got so many good options to throw the ball to. I am stoked. I've never been to a World Cup before, so um, I've been a standby player for about three. So um, this has been a tournament that I've been eyeing off for a long time, and I cannot wait to get on that plane to over to over to New Zealand and get stuck into it. Thanks, Lucky Andrew McGushin. I've just got a real real confidence, um, a real clear plan about my game at the moment. So I just try and simplify everything, take the scoreboard out of it, take the, the situation out of it and just back my back my game and back my strength. So that's what I've been doing with, with bat and ball and, and just trying to, yeah, like I said, simplify things and, um, and work with um, whoever I'm batting with or whatever the plan is with Meg. So um, it's, it's a nice feeling to walk to the crease or have the ball in hand at the moment with a lot of confidence. Oh, the, the first game, the T20 in Adelaide is probably the special one for me, having friends and family in the crowd and um, a knock that it's probably one of the best best of my career and um, it was a very special night, so that's probably the one. And, and just to start off the Ashes um, in form like that, that's probably the one that sticks in my mind. Kaylani. Yeah, it was certainly a journey. I got a, a taste of international cricket pretty early and then found myself on the outer quite quickly after that. So um, it was a long journey to get back into the Aussie side and I was quite lucky that we had, um, Cricket Australia had the NPS program, the Aussie programs put in place. So I was still around the mark, still got to travel to places like England, India, Sri Lanka and, and just chip away at my game. So um, getting back into the Aussie team, I felt I felt ready, I felt confident um, and just really fortunate to, to string a few games together and. Um, yeah, contribute to some team success. Any more guys? Um, also, uh, around the time during the WBA, you talked about the sports and colleges and you throughout the uh, last two, three years, and now you're uh, with all of this success. How do you think, uh, with Hannah, of course, uh, withdrawing from the World Cup, do you think that that has helped the entire team? 
Um, yeah, I'm a big advocate for um, sort of cricket is such a mentally challenging and taxing game um, and when we're on the road for extensive periods of time I, I really enjoy um, checking in with, with Dave back in SA and um, he just keeps everything so simple for me um, and yeah it's just an aspect of the game that I've really tapped into and um, has found some success for me so um, I'll continue with that but um, yeah it's certainly a challenging time with the um, COVID protocols and all the um, bits and pieces we've got going on so um, yeah it's an important part of for me. Yeah, earlier last year didn't get to play um, on that tour, but spent a bit of time in quarantine in the nets um, in New Zealand conditions and already having a few conversations with girls in the team about um, sort of what to expect, what works over there, what doesn't work. So I think it's about um, adapting pretty quickly and um, yeah, just going from there. I'm sure that, like I said, I simplify my game, play to my strengths and go from there. So having a look and adapting pretty quick will be important for me.